The stage is set here at the new River Sports Centre, here in the London Borough of Haringey, for the match between Park View and Harlow Town. Now, let's take a look at how Danny Chapman's men will set up today. Two changes from last week's 4-0 win over Newbury Forest. James Pelling keeps his place in goal. Alex Luque returns to the right-back position opposite Jack Martin as James Folkes returns to the side, meaning the preferred partnership of James Folkes and Taylor Hastings has returned. Into the midfield, which is unchanged from Saturday, uh, with Ruben Santos and Jack Cousins alongside Tom Jellyman. And the front three has changed slightly as Joshua Brown will lead the line, with his wingers being Junior Dadson and Roman Persil. A little later than anticipated, but we're underway. David Agara Bigby sends it forward, looking for Edgar Masoki, who's headed it on. Here is Obed Sunkwa with a little bit of space in the box now. And the shot was nothing spectacular. James Pelling deals with it and away by James Folks. And now we could hit on the break now, but Junior Dadson was shoved off of it. Now this is interesting. We've not seen this free kick technique yet this season. And in all honesty, we've struggled to hit the target from them so far. So I'd imagine this could be something from the training ground used by Danny Chapman here. On the referee's whistle, Dadson straight into Ruben Santos who hits it right into the bottom corner. Harlow lead at the very beginning again. And he played well last week and now his impact will be shown on the score sheet. Welcome back, Ruben Santos. Abdallah Zak Piombu plays the ball around James Folks and picked up by Obed Sunkwa. Missed by Taylor Hastings and he might just take this chance. Here he is. And James Pellin with the heroics and we still have the lead here. Idris Touré plays it forward into Edgar Masoki, charging at the Harlow back line. He's got loads of space. It's an excellent ball into Abdelazak Kionbu and what a save by James Pellin. He's denied him again. Crossed into the box by Jack Martin and headed just over the bar by Josh Brown. Hit long by James Pellin. And that's not really been dealt with properly by Cameron Lewis. Here is Junior Dadson in a very, very dangerous position. Plays it into Josh Brown. And as easy as you like, Josh Brown doubles the lead for Harlow Town. And Parkview's issues worsen. Jack Martin's going to whip this one in here. He's fallen for a red player and dealt with by Kufri and Newer. But it's going to come back to James Folks here. He could do something, but that one was blocked going to fall in good space here for Alex Luca, and we know he can cross it which he's decided to do here's Ruben Santos with a magic touch takes it around the keeper Roman Persil and it's 3-0 but the linesman's flag has denied him oh and the score remains 2 we go into the break Harlow leading comfortably by 2 goals to nil Tom Jellyman gets the ball rolling for the second half here's Ahmed Dusa he's got acres of space to run into here He's going to go for the far corner. He's gone so far that he's hit that white thing over there. Junior Dadson sprinting onto it. Plays the cross. Into Roman Purcell. He's got loads of space in the box. He's been fouled there. And that is a definite penalty. And we now have a definite chance to finish Parkview off. It will be Roman Purcell to take this one. He won it. Can he score it? Of course he can. As cool as you like. Straight down the middle, the keeper could do nothing about it. And just like that, it is Parkview nil, Harlow Town 3. Junior Dadson takes his free kick with a through ball straight into Joshua Brown, who made the run really well. Look at the space he's in here. He could do anything here. He plays it square. Oh, and very, very nearly a fourth goal for Harlow Town. Ahmed Dusa on the left flank plays the ball forward. This could be a chance. Off his line, James Pellin, and remarkable defending there from Arlo Town to get that one away. And no way in for Parkview. It's bounced awkwardly there, but well shielded by Ishak, really. He's picked up the ball, and Junior Dadson hits it, and oh, just narrowly wide there. And almost four. Ishak running onto it. Absolutely sits down the defender for Parkview. Plays a beautiful ball. Here is Junior Dadson to end things, and another really good save there. Plays it back to Kufra Anu and a terrible clearance. And Jack Cousins is here. He hits it. It's 4-0 to Harlow. And that is absolutely game over. Jack Cousins now has his first goal for the club as well as Ruben Santos. 
Here is Josh Brown, and just look at that amount of space ahead of him. He's going to try and run into it. Beats his man a little bit here. All this space to run into. He's dived in and got past him. Squares it across. Oh, and what a block. Here is Ahmed Dusa coming off that left-hand side again. He cuts inside. Will he look for the bottom right corner again? He does, but James Pelling with another really, really good save to deny him. Ahmed Dusa with another opportunity to bring one back for part view, but safe hands from James Pelling. Here is Bobby Kirby with a massive opportunity to shoot and just a bit too high from the young lad. And the full-time whistle goes and Harlow Town get their second successive 4-0 win. Full-time Park View 0, Harlow Town 4.